Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. Today we are going to triple the production of ammo here. We're going to tear uh, this stuff down and get that going. Because we, we just need much more ammo than we have. And also I want to automate the, uh, our defenses a little bit. So... So we can focus on building and not on being attacked by biters. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick in three of the regular ammo uh, uh, buildings. And we're going to make nine of the... Uh, Piercing ammo buildings. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Let's get rid of these trees. They're going to be in the way. This is going to be in the way. So we're going to run this up here. Like so. And this we're going to delete. And we'll get it going here. Actually, we don't need to have it this far away when we move it up there. So we can just have it here. All right. And let's get these configured. Whoops. There. So three of the regular ammo and nine of the other ammo. And let's uh, get these guys producing. Uh, let's just so we have it consistent like that. Whoops. I don't want it to come out there. I want it to come out there. All right. And this doesn't have to go up any further. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I set up four of these. So we need three, and that needs to be one of those. Two, four, ten. Just need nine, like that. Which means that this can come down a little bit, like that. And then we need to get these guys powered up, um, or get the inserters set up for now. Like that, and we just need regular inserters on the other side. Whoops, like that. So let's turn on these two power lines. There. There. I'm gonna need two in between each. It's a little bit annoying. Okay, let's get the inserters set up first so that we can see what we're dealing with. And like that. Alright. So let's get these babies powered up. And can we we need to do like this. That's okay. And then we can do like this. And there we go. We should have nine machines producing better ammo. Almost. Get these two going as well. There. And this pole needs to go up there. All right, so we have all of the ammo producing, and what I want to do is I want this ammo going out to protect all our stuffs. Somehow, we need to, to go around the iron. And up a bit. Oh, we don't have any defenses here right now. 
So we're gonna have to handle this on our own. Which we can. Very nice. So what we could do is actually start by setting it up here. We'll do a splitter and run it out this way. And we will get turrets lined up like so. All the way with inserters. Set up like that. And of course we need some power. So let's get that going. And we can have Let's see, that's not going to work. I think we're going to need to have one by each, unfortunately. But we can do that. Grab this uh, wood. We're obviously going to need more power poles. So yeah, that's uh, what we're going to do. And that means that these guys are getting fed ammo automatically and we don't have to worry about it and this should be enough firepower to handle the biters hopefully And then when we get walls going, we will get walls set up around these as well. Could actually have gone up and then closed the iron, but we didn't do that, so that's not going to happen right now. Damn it. Stop attacking our stuff. We didn't do anything to you. We are nothing but nice guys. Right? And they are taking down our parts down here. So let's go help them out. Lost one, I think. Fix this one up and just set up a couple more. So. There's some defense down there. Fluid wagons are done. And so let's do some other research. Let's do sulfur processing. Let's run up here and uh, continue our great wall of turrets. Uh, I'm gonna go up like this, I think. Here on the corner, we'll put some extra because that's a bit more dangerous. All right, let's pull the. Oh, that one won't, one won't be able to reach anything. Oh, and uh, inserters. And then power lines. All right. Okay, we don't have power coming out here right now. Let's go fix that. I guess the biters took down. Uh, a power line somewhere. Why are we not getting power? Oh, I'm missing one there. All right, everything has power. So yeah, this is uh, basically what we will get set up. And because I'm sick of the biters taking advantage of our puny 
defenses. So we'll just take it a little bit at a time. And get all of this up and running. I could actually probably uh, do less power poles, but it's fine. I don't mind. Uh, we're gonna need more transport belt. Let's just go down to the uh, minimal and get that while we're relatively close to it. So there, and what I actually do with more undergrounds and some splitters. Let's just take one stack of splitters. Um, yeah, I think for now, I want to just put down a few turrets here, just in case they make it past. Just in case it, make it makes it past these guys up here. Uh, all right. There. Oh, they have some ammo. And this is moving along nicely. And we just need the ammo on one side of the build. That's perfectly fine. Should have picked up some more turrets while I was down there. All right, never mind. Pull the belt back. Get the inserters up and some more inserters I should have grabbed as well. to run back and, and grab that that's okay running is part of the game good that I put down those turrets over there so let's get some uh, inserters just grab all of them Let's get some turrets where are they they're up here and let's just grab all of them and let's grab some lights as well we can actually just put down some here while we are at it there and then i want some light up here on the line so that we can see what's going on when we're being attacked There, 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 there. All right. So we have some idea what's of what's going on, and we are being attacked over here. Do we have it? Uh, they're all out of ammo. Uh, all right. Let's grab some ammo and run over there and fill them up. There we go. So they just attacked us up there on our turret line, but nothing happened, so that's good. Now they're attacking us down there. We'll need to build the turret line all the way around us, I think. Yeah, there's just no two ways about it. Which is unfortunate because it takes up a lot of resources and it takes time and 
go on, but it is what it is. There. And let's, uh, do we have a, yes we do. So let's get a thing down there. A radar, it's called. Let's run down here and have a look at what's going on. Just coming everywhere. Ridiculous. Uh, and I don't like being made to look ridiculous. You know that movie, then uh, put it down in the comments. One of my favorites of all time. As a hint, I can say that Robert Duvall is in it, if that helps. Sulfur processing is done, so let's get something else going. Uh, batteries, we're going to need a lot of. Alright, so how is it looking for ammo here? Backing up over there. Yeah. Backed up there. Let's just stick a chest here for ourselves so that we can grab some ammo once in a while and not have to cannibalize the line so much. All right, let's see. We have everything we need. Keep building. Well, let's just do that. I know it's not the most exciting <laughs> to be building a, a turret wall, but it is what it is, and it's part of the game, and it needs to be done. So, yeah. There. And when we have this up, then hopefully we can focus on the fun stuff of building our factory instead of worrying about biters so much. Because that has been a, a main topic in this playthrough, I have to say. Uh, biters have been a real problem. Pick one there, let's do every three. There, there, and we need one more and then we'll put down another, uh, another light. So here we go, more turrets, more better. grab some ammo and actually be of use there we have there 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 all right we're almost over to the wall here or to the body of water here which will be really nice because then we have actually closed off this section for from biter attacks i think and I think this uh, line like this should be able to handle the biters for uh, for quite a while, especially since they have uh, armor-piercing ammo. And I think what I want to do is get uh, military science set up uh, rather fast, so that we can continue upgrading our uh, bullet damage because we're locked by science right now on that front.
there. So now we're getting to the point where the ammo can't keep up at the moment. So we have a few uh, turrets here that are not getting ammo because it's getting picked up before it gets to them. There, one of them got started getting ammo. And then they will eventually fill up. So yeah. So what I think I'm going to do off camera is I am going to continue this line of uh, turret defenses and get it going all the way over here to the lake. And then in between the two lakes we have up here on the minimap, actually we can just go into the map, get the turrets set up like this and over here. And then we will get a turret line down here and here over to, I guess, over here to this body of water somehow. And going up here and coming back around. So that we are uh, well defended on all fronts. Look at that attack down there. That one's out of ammo now. They got him. Down here they held as well for now. So yeah. All right. Uh, I think before in the episode i just want to get a radar down here somewhere let's put it over here so we get radar coverage uh, out as far as we can so that we can see the attacks incoming and you can see the radar up on the uh, mini map up here you can see the blue th area that it covers that's the area that you will actually be able to see uh, when you go into the map view. And then it scans uh, all around here. Uh, you can see it's picking up area up here. So that's uh, really nice. But it's very useful that you can go into the map view and we can actually go up here and see uh, fighters coming a little bit early if we need to and out here as well so that's really nice so i want to get uh, radar set up all along our defensive line so that we have a full view of our surroundings yeah but all right uh, that's gonna be it for this time guys uh, thanks for watching i know that uh, watching me plop down all of these turrets are is maybe not the most exciting thing so I'll get that done off camera and uh, then we will proceed with getting our base, uh, our factory uh, more advanced. We need to get uh, oil so that we can make advanced circuits and we can make uh, uh, laser turrets and stuff like that. Because obviously uh, defense is extremely important right now for us. and. Uh, these gun turrets are only going to be effective for so long because the biters will evolve and they will actually eventually outrange the uh, the gun turrets. So we need to get laser turrets and eventually. And that will take a lot of power. So we might think of going nuclear or we could go with solar power. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, we'll find out. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.